Hi, Chef Hiking here, customer service and experience expert. And today I'm going to share about how not to blow the holiday card experience with blatant promotion. It's always nice to show customers a little appreciation. I mean, you can call the customer, you can email the customer, you can text him or her, or go with the old fashioned handwritten thank you note. So you can also send a greeting card, which leads to the topic of this lesson. And this is especially appropriate as the holidays are rapidly sneaking up on us. Now, just about two weeks or so ago, one of our subscribers emailed me with a question asking how I felt about sending a holiday card around the holiday time with a gift in the form of a discount coupon for 10% off the customer's next purchase. Now, I like the idea of a coupon. However, I'm not sure I want to confuse good wishes during the holidays with overt and blatant promotion. Now, most people get holiday cards from their friends, family members, and even some of the places that they do business with. Sure. They're all appreciated, but there are so many. Yours might get lost in that big stack. Furthermore, when you send a card with a gift that is really a discount coupon, that means that in order to get the gift, the customer has to spend money. That's <laughs> some gift. So if you're going to send a holiday card, make it about your appreciation for the customer and not about a marketing tactic. Save the marketing for a separate promotion. But there are other holidays that may be more appropriate for a money-saving coupon or any other type of promotion. How about a New Year's card that shows up the first week of the new year? It's a bit unexpected. It's an opportunity to thank the customer for their loyalty over the last year, and it can include incentive in the form of a coupon or a discount to continue their loyalty. Valentine's Day is a great opportunity to show your customer a little love in the form of a card that expresses heartfelt thanks and a discount to show how much you appreciate your customer's business. Now, I cannot forget one of my favorite holidays, International Customer Service Week, which happens the first full week of October and is a great time to show some appreciation and send a card with a promotional coupon to the customer. Keep in mind that there's a delicate balance that you have between promotion that's blatant and looks like blatant promotion compared to an expression of appreciation. It can come across as disingenuous. A lack of sincerity will erode trust and cause you to lose any emotional capital that you've built up with your customers. And you thought that card with a discount coupon embraced the holiday spirit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you'll find more information about my speaking programs, as well as hundreds of customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken, reminding you to always be amazing.